What a cliffhanger on episode three. Well, we got Frank the transit van back. Cost me nearly half as much as he cost in the first place. So let's get ready to put the floor in by starting on the ceiling. So we got the isopropanol um, cleaning fluid, alcohol, and was using it to clean the walls of the van so I could stick this damp roofing on. Then I noticed that it also cleaned the ceiling and I just wanted a nice clean ceiling. Again, we're also gonna be sticking a liner on the ceiling to help block out noise and insulate it. So in order to create a good clean contact with that, I really wanted to get this dirt off and the time lapse is really satisfying to watch after all of that. This is the soundproofing that we're using on the van. It's the cheap bitumen flashing. Does it do much? Not convinced. Clean the space, rub it on with a hand and then really stick it in place with the roller. The aim was to try and get a piece of the bitumen flashing on the center of every panel that was kind of large, ringy, and yeah, I'm not sure if this stuff works that well, but I knew I was gonna be using the more expensive silent coat on the roof of the van to use the more expensive product to really try and get rid of that rainy, tinny sound that you get in a caravan. Lifting the floor out of Frank the Transit, it turned out that there was a subfloor and then somebody had placed these nine mil wooden battens between the metallic ribs. My thought being, well, if they're already here, let's add to them in the hope that we can use a thinner subfloor that wouldn't suffer the bowing that you might get if you installed a thin, maybe six mil floor straight over the metal ribs. I spent a lot of time, probably too much time, cutting these out, gluing them in situ. But the main thing I wanted to be able to do is to screw the wooden subflooring into the wood rather than into the metal floor. So like I said, we took a subflooring out, which gave me a template for cutting all this six mil ply. And this tech sound was my answer for acoustic and minimal thermal insulation. So a heavy, thick rubbery mat with just a carpet on one side. Install that over the top of the nine mil strips. Try taking this plastic back, shit backing off. I don't know if you're meant to, but it was a bloody bitch to get off. So I'm not sure if it was worth it. There was also a step where I lay out the ply flooring Using a pen, I drew on the top surface where these wooden battens were, drilled a load of pilot holes, and then we went around and countersunk every single hole, screw it in, and it's all going into these wooden battens rather than into the metal of the van. Annoyingly, it took three pieces of ply, not just two pieces of ply, to get the floor covered. It was on a strangely yellow day, I don't know what was happening. And then just to offer it some protection, just a single coat of floor varnish, just to keep the mud and the water off as we're working on it. Eventually it will have its own flooring, probably vinyl, but it's just a temporary measure. 